While there is some confusion among parents, students, teachers, and administrators in Massachusetts when it comes to the MCAS exams, the city of Boston and other districts are planning to use an online test known as PART, Partnership for Assessment of Readiness for College and Careers, meaning the future of MCAS very much in doubt and could be replaced. In fact, there's a bit of a transition going on now. Mitchell Chester is the Commissioner of Education here in the Commonwealth. He joins us live from our Beacon Hill studio. Uh, first of all, um, uh, Mitchell, Partnership for Assessment of Readiness for College and Careers. Couldn't we have come up with a little better name than that? It's kind of confusing there. A little too long. Well, it, <laughs> it, it is long, Gene. But first, I want to start out by wishing you a happy birthday. Thank and you. I, I want to point out that I wore my purple tie <laughs> in, in your honor as well. Well, thank you so yeah. much. Uh, let's start by talking about MCAS. And it seems like this is sort of on its way out to be replaced by Park. Is that what's going to happen here in the long run? Well, we're, we're figuring that out. We're taking two years to look at the new tests. MCAS is in its 18th year, and it's time for an upgrade. So we've been working with other states on the development of the Park test. Uh, to, to be a much more up-to-date test to make sure the students are being asked to, to learn the kind of things that, that they'll need to be able to do after high school, whether it's going to college, whether it's in terms of employers. And so we've been trying the test out. I'm glad to be back with Fox 25. I was with you last spring mm -hmm. when a small number of students across the state tried the test. The buzz was very positive, and so we're now in a second year of tryout. Uh, Boston's one of many uh, communities across the state, about 60%, that are leaning toward giving the park test this coming spring to give it a full airing, a full tryout with students. What's the biggest difference between the two exams? Well, there's a couple of differences. First of all, we're, we're, it's a test worth teaching to. We've made sure that it's a test worth teaching to. Second of all, it's a very engaging experience. Students told us in the pilot last spring that being online to take a test was much more engaging uh, than taking a paper and pencil test. Third of all, it asks students to do the kinds of things that we want them to be able to do when they leave high school, to be able to uh, read and understand what they're reading, to be able to look at multiple viewpoints on a given topic and to be able to analyze those viewpoints, to be able to think critically, to be able to apply their math skills. All of those are very much the heart of this new assessment. Is, but some parents are complaining that PARC is it's, it's a more standardized test. It's tied in with other states and what's going on nationally as opposed to just focusing on what's happening here in the Commonwealth. And they think by doing that, we're lowering standards. Do you buy into that theory? Uh, not at all. I mean, we're being very careful to make sure we don't lower standards. So one of our uh, our guides here on, on adopting PARC is making sure that it's at least as strong, at least as rigorous. And the early results from this spring uh, suggest that it is, in fact, a very ambitious test in terms of what's being assessed. And many uh, many of our students and our teachers are reporting that it's more ambitious than the, the current MCAS. And others are complaining that it might be tough for some school districts maybe in lower income areas to be able to have the technology necessary to take this test. How do you combat those concerns? Well, you know, the technology upgrades is an important part of this. Uh, first of all, we will have a paper and pencil option for okay. schools that aren't ready. But, you know, most importantly, Gene, we need to upgrade our classrooms to make sure that our teachers and our students have access to digital resources. More and more, that's where the world's going. And we haven't done as well as we should in Massachusetts in terms of providing those technology upgrades. That up grade is not about the test, it's about teaching and learning, it's about the course of study that students experience. You had said that uh, teaching to the park test may, makes sense and is working well. They did the same thing with MCAS. Did you think with MCAS that made sense and that that was a positive thing? Absolutely. MCAS is a very strong assessment. It served co the Commonwealth well. It's 18 years old. It's time for an upgrade, and that's what we're that's what we're working on with the park assessment. And what are you hearing from from uh, parents and administrators in terms of you know there's a lot of stress and concern about kids being taught this, and they feel that there's still too much emphasis on that and not enough emphasis on what's going on in the classroom. You know, reading, writing, arithmetic. And they'd like to see us to get back to that a little bit. Well, you know, at its heart, uh, at, at its core, the park test is about reading, writing, and arithmetic, about being able to think and reason and explain your reasoning. So that's very much at the core. So schools that are focused on that curriculum where, where students are asked to think, asked to reason, asked to read, asked to write, asked to do arithmetic, are schools that are preparing their students well for this test. You know, uh, it's important to me as a parent of five children that I 
have uh, an annual uh, barometer from the state as mm -hmm. to how my child's doing to supplement what I'm hearing from my classroom teachers. To me, it's kind of like a, a yearly physical. It's a yearly checkup that the state right. administers. So it sounds like Park potentially is going to be here to stay in MCAS is in, kind of in its waning days. Well, you know, whether we uh, go with Park, which, which looks promising, or whether we upgrade MCAS, one way or another, we can't stick with a test that's 18 years old. Mitchell Chester, he is the Education Commissioner here in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Mitchell, thanks for your time. Do appreciate you straightening out all that out for us. Happy birthday, Gene. Thanks so much. We do appreciate it. The Fox 25 Morning News at 8 starts right now after this break. The Beacon Hill Studio, brought to you by GEICO.